what is the right answer? Can someone tell me? Because I don't know it. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be tackling my desk. So my name's Lena. Hi, if you're new and if you've been here, welcome back. I missed you. Today we're going to be doing a lot of cleaning and organizing and the main goal is to have a workspace that I feel productive in. I don't feel crowded or constrained because I feel like that's definitely what's been happening. And you guys know me, I have this tendency of just getting messy. Um, it's not like gross messy. It's not like I have like sticky stuff all over like I don't bring food in here and leave it It's more like I just have so many papers so many things and I Forget to put things back or I'm too lazy to put things back and it just causes awful awful piles of stuff so Today we're gonna be tackling my desk. This is what it looks like when you enter. You see my desk right here. I like to make sure it's right in front of the window so that I have bright light and I really feel productive here. Problem is, I don't have enough drawer space to keep my cameras and my papers, so I also got this like cart here, but it ends up getting messy and it's just all over the place. And then I have like piles of stuff here, piles of stuff here because I never really put them away. Um, I have like a vision board that I don't even really care for anymore. I have my makeup collection back here. And luckily I recently got a curtain for it so it just feels a lot neater now but before it was like complicated because you would look in here and all you would see is a giant mess because like look at this right now you kind of see the mess but it's not so bad but imagine when this is completely open it's just chaos in there like you open this and you're like oh my god what the heck is going on there there's just too much stuff but we're tackling that in other videos so stay tuned i'll be doing a makeup declutter we'll do like drawer by drawer for the most part so we'll do like foundations mascaras all that good stuff it's really exciting stay tuned make sure you're subscribed but today we are tackling this space so really the workspace we'll be doing a little bit of the kanmari method um she came out with a new book so let's go ahead and get started. So step one is to clear the space. I wanna make sure that absolutely everything that's on the desk is off, regardless of whether or not I know where that belongs, but just make sure you sort everything, put it on the floor, put it somewhere else, just so that you have a clean space to start with. Having a clean space also means wiping down the dust, cleaning it off. I'm using a Clorox wipe just to make sure that everything is nice and clean. I have a feeling like these are the only books that I have that are in my office. All the other ones are in my room. The Kanmari method says to put everything in piles of things that are similar. So for the first part, it's books. So I'm going to go through these and see if there's any that I want to donate. I actually hate to say it, but I haven't finished any of these books. I started many of them. I started this one. I started this one. I started this one. Did not start that one. I started this one, I started this one, and I started this one, and I never finished them, which is so sad. But as you guys know, I did recently do a Kanmari of my home, kind of in a way, in my room. So I actually took these out of there. So I already did a book declutter, and I brought these up here because I felt like they were more related to makeup and my job than it was just like personal growth. So I'm going to really quickly look through them again. Okay, so I went through all my books and I decided I actually don't want them to stay here at my desk because the only thing it's doing is cluttering. I don't ever sit at this desk and think, hey, let me read a book. I think I might want to do that, but there's a few books here that I want to just put on a shelf kind of in the back. Um, I just realized also while I was going through these books that I technically have more books back there that are like decor, but I know those books and I'm definitely keeping those books. Um, I just don't read them because they're kind of like coffee table books, but they're like decor, you know what I mean? But these don't fit the color scheme, so they're not in there, but I still am interested in them. So I want to put these on the shelf in the back, um, just so that I have them kind of out of the way. Because I want my workspace to be like workable, and I don't need it to be a bookshelf as well. So I'm going to put these away, but I want to read more of like the self kind of like work, like better yourself type books and I I don't know I don't know I'm trying to figure out where to put these and it's just like what is the right answer can someone tell me because I don't know it next category is papers and this is my least favorite because honestly going through papers is like a never-ending hole and it's so sad but Marie Kondo says that it is very important to go through papers and your goal when going through papers is to 
get rid of everything, okay? So only save the things that you absolutely need to or absolutely want to. So I went through all of my receipts, all the paperwork, and I actually got rid of a good amount of stuff. And the important thing here is to make sure you're categorizing as you go. So each piece of paper needs to fit a certain category. And you want to file your papers, and you want to make sure that those files stay standing upright. Because when you put papers on top of one another in a pile, it gets lost, it gets cluttered. So it's very important to make sure that you're storing your papers upright. So I have a file system on my cart, and that is what I decided to use. This category is stationary, and in here I threw in my pens, pencils, highlighters, scissors, any of the above, anything that I could write with basically, and yes, I know I have way too many. So basically throughout the years, I've accumulated a lot of colorful pens and highlighters because I'm someone who really loves colorful notes. I love drawing, I love doodling, bullet journaling, all that good stuff, but the thing is, I've accumulated the same pens over and over again because they come in big bins and I would lose them, I wouldn't know where they were, or every season for back to school I'd go and buy more, you know, it wasn't necessary. Marie Kondo explains that you only technically need one of each, you can always go out and buy more. So I saved my favorite pens, one of each, either like the thicker pens, the thinners, I wanted to make sure that the ones that worked tested every single pen, and I got rid of the ones that didn't work, gave away the ones that I didn't need, and I only kept enough to fit in that one bin. And some of them were my favorites, so I went ahead and used the backups of those and filled one bucket with them. Now we're moving on to tech. Tech is probably specific to each person because I am someone who loves videography and photography, so I've accumulated a lot of wires, batteries, SD cards, cameras, and for me it's a passion of mine and a hobby, but also my work. So I definitely have way too many compared to an individual who probably doesn't do photography and videography as a job. But for me, this category is making sure that I organize it so it's easy to find everything. I get rid of the wires that I don't need because I'm telling you there were so many wires that were duplicates that I 100% did not need. And then some that I didn't even know what they were for. So this is your time to go through all that and pile it all on your desk and go through them one by one. We all have that miscellaneous drawer, I swear it's like required and it usually is the top drawer of your desk. In that case, mine actually has a bunch of post notes, paper clips, binder clips, all that good stuff, and also SD cards, headphones, whatever, miscellaneous. So I went ahead, took everything out, and I didn't do the Marie Kondo, like, KonMari method in this case, because technically I'm supposed to put all the post notes in one pile, all the paper clips in one pile, but I already felt they were pretty much organized. I mean, I'm sure I don't need as many as I have, but I decided to make it quite simple. Raise your hand if you're a notebook hoarder. <laughs> My hand is up. Okay, so every time I used to walk into TJ Maxx or Home Goods, I would pick up a notebook because they were just kind of an innocent purchase. But the thing is, even though I've stopped doing that recently, I have accumulated so many of them. And I already know now what kind of a preference I have for notebooks and planners. And the ones that just don't work for me, they gotta go. They can't take up space because as much as they are empty pages, somebody else can fill them better. Next step is to decorate, and I wanted my decorations to be practical but also useful, so I used to have paper calendars and a vision board that was not flexible because I glued everything onto a poster board. I wanted something that can grow with me and change with me as my schedule and my life just kind of moves around. So I went ahead and invested in some magnetic dry erase boards from Target, I'll link them down below if I can find them, but I'm really happy because now I can go ahead and change things, erase things, as I want, it takes up the space and creates a very practical, productive environment without making me feel like I have to constantly look at like a vision board that distracts me, that just doesn't fill me with inspiration. And I'm really excited to build this space up. I went ahead and just put my plant, my lamp, and my pens and scissors and such in the corner so that I take up as little space as possible on the actual table. Now please excuse this section, I totally forgot to double check if the microphone was working so I was talking to nobody and you can't hear anything. So let me talk you through what I guess I was saying during this entire cart organization. So not everybody has a cart, but for me it's very useful because I like to have more space on my desk and it's also very flexible, technically you can move it around wherever you want, so highly recommend if you're looking for more space. Now I have a file organizer that I think is really useful, um, I think I might have gotten it from like TJ Maxx, maybe Target, I don't know, but I definitely know it's not available anymore. 
Um, I'll try to find something similar maybe to link it for you guys, but I really like the fact that it's open so that my files are hanging in the air and then I also include a little file organizer and in there I threw in my notebooks, my planners, that way it's so easy to reach in, find everything I need and those notebooks used to spend their time on my table. So like they're notebooks I use for things to organize whether it's work or to-do lists and I don't want them on my table but that's where they would always end up. For the bottom and middle section, I really wanted something to be a lot more kind of organized visually and I couldn't figure anything out besides using these two little inserts that I bought from Ikea for actual drawer organization, which by the way, if you guys want to see a video on drawer organization for like clothing, let me know. I can show you how to like fold your clothes properly to make as much space as possible. But long story short, I really wanted this space to look neat and clean. So I wanted to put the pens and the books as far away as possible from like the front where I can see it because I want to easily reach it, but I just don't want it to distract me because every time I'm looking around, I don't want to think, oh, I remember reading that book or, oh, I remember this. And I actually don't have any more of those little ones, so I just use one of the big ones. And in this, I threw in um, a receipt organizer, some like hole punchers, random stuff like that, a screen cleaner, which actually is amazing. I'll link this down below. You need this if you have like a laptop, an iPad, even for your phone, it like cleans the screen without leaving any weird residue. It's really nice. But long story short, I wanted to organize this cart to be practical, but also neat and pretty to the eye. So I put binders up, whatever it is that I needed to do, just to make sure that everything looked clutter free and easy to reach. So I'll show you guys what it looks like in a second once it's done. So here is the final reveal. This is what my desk currently looks like and I absolutely love it and I really hope that I can keep it clean for longer than just one week. So far it's been pretty clean, but as you guys can see, I have my vision board on the top started, my calendar filled out. I just feel very good about everything having a home and everything looking so neat. My cart is just an extension of my desk, but it looks neater, less crowded, and especially on the lower levels, it's easy to reach and see what's in there. I actually ended up putting extra notebooks back there, things that I use but don't necessarily need on an everyday basis. The bottom level has my books, my cleaner, and everything that I need, but tucked away so it's not messy. And the desk just overall feels very productive. I am so excited. My drawers are also nice and organized. This top one may look a little messy, but it's organized to me. Then I have my tech that I use regularly and then the less regular use tech stuff that I may need, but is just tucked away. It looks organized, it looks clean, and I just feel so good, you guys. So I hope that this encourages you to clean and organize something in your home. Send me before and afters. I love seeing them on my Instagram. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe to this video, a giant thumbs up, and leave me a comment below because I can't wait to chat. I love you. Bye.